Well, good morning, everyone. Today is a super, super celebration uh, here in St. Clairsville, and we are super excited and delighted to be here today to celebrate with all of you and Mayor Fallman uh, regarding infrastructure award that we are presenting today. So I'm going to give a little bit of background and talk a little bit about the project that we're funding, and we're, we'll just open up the floor for others who want to speak and share share in today's celebration. So as I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but we all know that drinking water is an important resource for every one of us, right? You know, the mayor and I were talking and having sufficient infrastructure and drinking water is not only a quality of life issue for people, right? But it also helps prepare communities for growth and development. So that's really the double, double win, triple win if you look at the water quality improvements when you support infrastructure development in communities. And we know there are needs throughout the entire state all communities need infrastructure improvement and supports. And, you know, St. Clairsville, I think, is no, no, you know, it's an example of just typical infrastructure that's been built going back to the 1920s and 1930s. So infrastructure is old, it's aging, you know, as, as we can see here by the pipes in front of us. And we know it can break and we, it can cause problems and it's expensive to fix. So to help take care of this problem, I'm announcing today that through Governor DeWine's new Ohio Builds Initiative, we are awarding a $5 million grant to replace aging water lines in St. Clairsville. Yes, absolutely. So the funding is just part of a larger project for the community, and not only will it help reduce overall costs to the community, but it's going to also end up saving citizens money, right, because it reduces the, the impact to them. Governor DeWine launched the Ohio Builds Initiative last month. And in total, we're giving $250 million in Ohio Builds grants to help communities across the state rebuild critical water and wastewater infrastructure. Every county in Ohio is slated to receive funding through the program. This is a statewide issue, and it's really nothing new. We have infrastructure in the state that I mentioned was put in decades ago. And this is 2021, so we need to support our communities in dealing with antiquated infrastructure and getting, getting current and up to date. Governor DeWine's administration has been working on this issue since he took office. So as another example, under our H2 Ohio Water Quality Initiative, we've also been helping communities that desperately need infrastructure funding since that program launched in 2019. Through H2 Ohio, we've given out more than $15 million to many communities for these projects, but we know there's a lot of work left to do. For our state to continue thriving and growing, we need strong infrastructure. Like I said, this is a quality of life issue, it's a public health issue, and it's an economic development issue. Families and businesses won't locate in communities where they can't get water. Ohio Builds is about building up our communities, about building out our economy, and building on the resources that citizens need to thrive. But we're not doing this alone. The General Assembly, of course, has had a big role in this. The funding we'll be giving to local communities as part of the Ohio Builds program has been appropriated by the legislature. We're thankful for that, and that's either as part of the current operating budget or as part of appropriations with American Rescue Plan Act dollars. As for the water and wastewater infrastructure grants we're announcing today, you should know that although $250 million is being allotted for these projects, communities submitted requests overall that exceeded $1 billion in need. So while we're excited to announce the $109 million in this final tranche of funding, we also know that there are many deserving projects that we won't have enough money for overall. But we're not going to give up on this. We will keep working to help as many communities as possible because these projects will change lives and impact generations of Ohio citizens. Again, those, there are those here today, and I know that, and I think the mayor will acknowledge as well, that have been very hard at work trying to address the infrastructure issues, challenges, and opportunities in this community. So we all want to personally thank you for your incredibly hard work. We also want to thank you, Mayor, for your leadership in this. And we are very excited 
that we have the opportunity to assist you as you move forward. So again, congratulations. And at this point, I'd like to turn it over to Mayor Thalman for a few remarks. I can tell you, Santa Claus came early to St. Clairsville this year. I uh, got a phone call from Jeremy on Monday, and I said, hey, what's new? Because I hadn't talked to him. He was off all last week. He said, why well, quit? And I said, that isn't what I want to hear. He's kidding. He goes, no, are you sitting down? And I said, yeah. He said, I just received a call from the EPA. We are getting $5 million for our infrastructure. Well, I'll tell you what, I just started crying. I mean, I do that when I get excited and happy, and I couldn't believe it. And I said, Santa Claus has come to our town early. And I'll tell you what, we've come a long way with the EPA. St. Clairsville has worked hard in the past two years to fix our aging infrastructure. When I was first elected, it was probably less than two weeks after I was elected, I was still trying to figure out where the bathrooms were in here. And we got a call from the EPA and they said, you need to be in Columbus. We've got a list of findings and orders that you need to comply with to bring your water system up the code. And I'm like, oh boy, I'm not sure what that means, but it doesn't sound good. So I reached out to Mr. Jeff Vaughn with Vaughn Coast and Vaughn Engineering, uh, our attorney, our city attorney, and uh, Jody Williams was with me, who was working for the city at that time and the previous service director. And we went and spoke with the EPA attorneys, and they said, these are all the things that need to be fixed. And they could not have been nicer. They said, we will work with you, and we will help you do this. And I said, well, I can tell you I am committed to fixing this. And it has been a very wonderful, very um, a partnership, a learning experience, and a mentorship that they have brought to us to bring us to this point. And I can tell you, it is with great appreciation and gratitude that I stand before you to accept, on behalf of our city of St. Clairsville, a grant in the amount of $5 million from the EPA. Uh, and again, with the help and cooperation of the good people of the EPA, St. Clairsville has moved toward solving our water issues. Under the guidance of Jeremy Greenwood, who for the first time I see in a necktie, this is an important day, Mr. Jeff Vaughn of Vaughn Coast and Vaughn Engineering, Ms. Tolsta at RCAP and the EPA, a plan was submitted to replace the aging infra infrastructure which serves our city. And as Ms. Stevenson said, a picture is worth a thousand words. Jeremy, God bless him, came back last night to bring these up and I saw him this morning. I thought they were CAT scans of my arteries, but no, they're actually pipes they pulled out of the ground and this is what we've been dealing with, like so many other cities. This is pretty old. Um, so you can see this is, what, this is what's going to get replaced. So I'd like to thank Laurie Stevenson, director of the Ohio EPA, who is here today. Your directorship and guidance, as well as your vision, will help St. Clairsville embrace our past and prepare for a prosperous future. Please know how much this is appreciated and how much we all appreciate the assistance from your agency. Your collaboration with us is absolutely invaluable. Thank you to Governor Mike DeWine, whose stewardship and leadership makes this possible. The Build Ohio Act will be a real blessing to so many Ohio communities. I'd like to thank our senators, our Congressman Bill Johnson, Senator Frank Hoagland, our county commissioners. I see one I'm hiding back there. Come on in, JP. JP Dutton, thank you, JP, for all of your help and all who have never been too busy to take a phone call from this mayor. I want to thank our city departments, Mr. Donnie Smithberger, I know he's here, I don't see him, Jason Duvall, Darren Pitlack, Jeff Model, and Ryan Denham, who've never been too busy to take a call on a Friday at 11 o'clock and say, okay, I'll go, where's the water break? You guys have all been on those 1 a.m. calls to fix broken water pipes. Hopefully what this means for you is you'll finally get a night of uninterrupted sleep in the near future. A strong community must be built on a strong foundation. This grant gives us the ability to strengthen and renew that foundation so we can plan for our prosperous future. I'd also like to thank, I'd be remiss if I did not thank our council members. I see one, two, three, four, five 
and they have all worked with us to help to move toward getting our water fixed. We hope to grow and prosper. We want more people to know what we already know. St. Clairsville is a wonderful community to live in, and I thank you so very much. Now I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Jeremy Greenwood. Yes, yes, yes. You put a tie on, yes. All right. Well, for one thing, welcome to everybody. Uh, I appreciate everybody coming. Uh, I just have some some thank yous. Uh, I want to actually go over some statistics that we have, though. Um, since 2016, in the year 2016, we had 45 water line breaks. In 17, we had 14. In 18, we had 23. In 19, we had 35. Last year, we had 32 breaks. Would anyone like to guess how many this year? You're, you're cheating, you know. Yeah. You've been out on most of them. 45 breaks. Uh, that, that's, that's a lot of overtime and a lot of pay and a lot of uh, effort that is taken away from our general just uh, daily maintenance and, and routine of stuff to try and do this. So this grant is, is very, very, very helpful and it's gonna be a tremendous amount of help for the city and go from there. Uh, some thank yous, obviously, I'd like to thank Governor DeWine, uh, Ms. Stevenson, uh, the Ohio EPA, uh, Jeff Vaughn with Vaughn Coast and Vaughn, uh, Misty Tolza with RCAP, uh, Janine Wizerbicki with uh, Omega and Alan Knapp with Omega. Uh, and then actually I want to specifically mention these uh, EPA people, uh, Jessica Armold, uh, Rex Hagee, Josh Legg and Ariel Ruth, who have been very, very helpful uh, with the transition uh, going from private industry into government and, and taking taking control of this stuff. So uh, those people work very hard and are always helpful, and they always uh, answer any questions that, that we have. Uh, last, I'd like to thank the city's superintendents and crews. Uh, without you guys, none of this stuff can be done. Uh, you guys are the heart and soul of the city, and you really are, and, and you, you deserve uh, a round of thank yous. And other than that, I guess we'll open it up to questions. Did you have anyone else that wanted to speak? Anyone? Does anyone have any questions then? No? Obviously, Cinder is a little upset because she can see me and hear me talking, and she's not here, so... If nothing else, then uh, we'll welcome anything. You know, look at uh, the, some of the pictures and the examples we have of stuff. We have refreshments in the conference room, and I'll turn it back over. Please join us on this day of celebration. We've got cookies, juice, coffee, water, yeah. and we really appreciate everyone being here. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, happy, healthy Christmas season. And again, thank you so oh. much. One other thing, this is uh, some leak detection equipment that we bought in an order to actually try and come through and, and locate some of our leaks with, with stuff. So we're, we're trying to progressively move forward and, and address these issues that we have. So anything, anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Yeah. Okay, come on. Come here. 